Hello, hello, Crafty Cranel fam. My background might look a little bit empty and you've probably guessed from the title of this video that I am moving. So I'm in the process of packing up my art studio. As you can see, I've done a little bit of it, but there is a lot more to do. So come along with me, let us pack all of my things and prepare to move. Thus far, I have only really done the bookshelves. So I've taken most slash all of the books off of the shelves and now I just have all of my art supplies. I am going to try to leave a few art supplies out like this sketchbook and a couple of things to use the sketchbook with so that I'm not completely without art supplies as I don't think I'll be moving for another month but I just want to get a head start at it and we'll obviously take you guys along the way of the whole process. I have chosen to take a few brushes along, a couple of different pencils, regular graphite pencils. I've got some markers and various like pen type equipment, a tortillion for blending, my bone folder just in case I need to make like a card or something, obviously my travel watercolor set. And then, like I said, I just picked, oops, picked an assortment of colored pencils. And for now, I think that's all I'm gonna keep out. My next box is just gonna be a bunch of knickknacks and like things that are on my assorted bookshelves that I just can pack away right now because they're not really serving a useful purpose. They're just knickknacks. It is now the next day and I have so much more to do. <laughs> so today I think first thing I'm going to tackle is everything on the walls. I have so many posters and things, not only in my office, but also in other areas of my home that you've probably never seen. I have a bin ready to pack some of this stuff and I think that it will be good just to keep everything together that has a frame. Then for everything else, like the stuff that I have under my desk that is underneath a sheet of glass here, I am going to put it actually into one of these portfolios. I went to Hobby Lobby and I got another one. This is 14 by 17. I also have an 11 by 14 and one really small one for like the much smaller items. So that is my plan for all of this stuff. Honestly, it was really weird seeing my walls get so bare because they're so beige and all the same color. I think that I have tried to make all of the walls interesting through everything that I've put on them. And so to see them just go back to the plain blank slate that they've been since the beginning was um, a little bit sad, I guess. I'm so excited to be moving, don't get me wrong, but it was just a very surreal experience seeing everything that I've put on the walls taken down the walls just made barren again and it'll be interesting living with it for the time that i have in between the actual move and now so unfortunately on this one i used command strips because i thought that that would work better to keep this in place which it definitely did i really like that every time i open and shut the door I wasn't worried about it falling, however taking this off is going to be an interesting task. So I've got a butter knife, I'm going to attempt to just like jimmy it behind this where the command strips are and slowly try to peel them off from behind. So 
as you can see, I did it. And honestly, that was the way to hang that. Like 100% these little like 3M strips, I will definitely be buying for the new house because so much less damage to the wall. And that was really easy to peel them off afterwards. So I'm super impressed. I don't know why I've hung everything else with nails and push pins because these things are magical. So I'm gonna try to start packing these in this nice tall box here. So these are my largest, thinnest frames. So I'm gonna start with these. I have sheets here that I'm going to attempt to pack these with and we'll see how it goes. And then anything that will also fit in this box that won't make it too heavy, I'll end up putting in here as well from over there. Using the sheets made this process really simple. I was able to fold in a bunch of frames all at once so that everything had a layer of padding and everything that went into the box was very securely packed and I don't need to worry about them breaking or anything like that. For a lot of the smaller ones, I've got just smaller boxes and I have pillowcases and towels to pack them in. I think I just invented my own packing hack because this is amazing. <laughs> I was stressed out because I didn't have a box that would fit all of like this type of frame, just your standard, I don't know, like eight by 10 type frame. And so I was like, I just need something long, but like thin enough that I can fit a bunch of them in here. And backpacks, backpacks are the way to go. So I've got a bunch of backpacks because I love backpacks and if I just stack them in here and I put a t-shirt in between each one, then everyone has a layer of padding and the backpack itself is nicely padded. And then when someone's carrying it, they can just pop it on their back and it won't be that heavy. It is a great idea. And for the largest framed items, I brought out my large packing suitcase. And so these larger frames here will fit in here. And so I'm just gonna use a comforter instead of t-shirts to protect them. All right, it is now time to start tackling some of my art supplies, including my primary art supply box, the art supplies over here, my main art supplies here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take everything out of the drawers one by one, and I'm gonna saran wrap the loose things together. So like my pens, pencils, brushes, anything that's kind of loose, I'm going to saran wrap it so that when I pull it out of the box, it is easily organizable into its drawers and spaces so that I can kind of have the same setup that I've always had because I really like how my art supplies are organized and I'd like to do the same in the new house. I highly recommend this organizational tip as I think it will make unpacking so much easier and I won't need to struggle with like the new move in process because I'll already know that everything is exactly as I had it organized previously and so it won't be confusing trying to find my art supplies after the fact. All the art supplies that I've had will be in the same places that they've always been and really easy to figure out um, once I've moved. And there you have it, all of the art supplies that I had in my primary art supply desk and my little like tote thing that I have so that they're all organized by drawers, clearly labeled and protected for the move. These are just flat things that I figure will fit better in the box if I leave them flat and they can just be in the bottom. They're not very breakable, so I'm not that concerned. Next, I started tackling everything that was on my desk underneath the sheet of glass. Again, I just put these all into the portfolios that I had bought so that they have a place for the move and I know exactly where each thing is so that when I go to unpack them, I just have to go to each of these portfolios and find those posters that I want to go together in a new room. For all of my guitar packs, I've got this really cute little container for things that I get from concerts. So these are specific concert ones and then I intend on putting them back kind of on these types of services when I move. Then having taken everything off the desk and stored it properly, I attempted to take apart the desk itself with an Allen wrench and some brute force. Well, joke's on me because 
I undid these two screws just fine, but I can't actually get this bar off. I guess that's not actually how it comes off, even though it looks like it just slid over the top of this for this bar and it would come off, but alas, it does not. And this screw is like stripping, which is super frustrating. So I can't get it out. And honestly, it doesn't seem like that's the correct way to do this anyway. So I guess I'm just gonna leave this fully assembled. <laughs> Here you can see all of my day one progress. Thank you guys so much for watching this moving vlog. I really appreciate it. Feel free to like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content and expect more moving content from me in the near future.